friends, I am Tinash. In this video, we will learn about the Automation Anywhere Active Directory Command Sense of Commands with multiple examples. So, we will look into that. And in my next videos, I will try to cover the App Integration, Clipboard, Commands, Database and Excel and the other commands. Within few days, I will try to cover everything. So, please subscribe my channel and keep in touch with me. And already I have uploaded few videos about the Command Sense of Commands Overview and the Automation Anywhere Basics and recorders in Automation Anywhere as well as the download and installation procedures for the Automation Anywhere trial version, community edition and the task editor as well as the certification procedures and the other programming languages like Excel, HTML, CSN, JavaScript, VBScript, Python and the other languages. So when you have a chance, please subscribe my channel, like and watch the videos. Directly jump into the Active Directory commands. So in the Automation Anywhere task editor, you can see the Active Directory in the first line. So in the first command is Active Directory. So under the when you expand the Active Directory command, you can see the subcommands like Create User, Modify User, Create Group, Modify Group, Create Object, Modify Object, Search, and Get Property. There are multiple subcommands within the Active Directory. Before moving to that, you should know what is Active Directory. So Active Directory is one of the Microsoft technology product and it's used to manage computer and other devices on a network. So it's completely based on the network as well as whenever, whenever there is requirements, it can be run within the local Windows also. And it's a primary features of Windows Server and operating systems that runs both local and your internet based servers. Uh, for an example, now you can consider the Active Directory as a shared drive. So each and everyone have a shared drive. So in the local, you have a shared drive for the C drive and the D drive. If you, if you need any other shared drive access, like for the work, work location, if you need any other shared drive, for that you need a separate access, right? Uh, you are requesting access to your admin team. They will give you the access through the rights. And every each and every progress has been in the back end. You don't know about that. But for that, you need a admin access. Then only you can be able to create or update, modify anything. You can do that. Without the access, we cannot enter into the server. For that, we have a server. We need the information. And the Active Directory services are listed here. Domain services, certificate services, lightweight directory services, directory federation services, rights management. Yeah, these are all the services provided by the Active Directory. And the subcommands are here. So, uh, the same example. For an example, uh, like shared drive, if you want to add any other users, new users, you want to add it, you need a server path and the other information like domain name and the username and password. Everything you need to enter, then only you can enter into the Active Directory. You can create new user or else if you want to modify the existing user, then create groups then modify groups, then create object, modify object, search and get property. So I'm sure that for 99% uh, 99, 99 most of the people are not using the active directory commands since these are all admin activities. So only few members has the admin actions, admin act activity as the passwords and everything they only have it. So we could not enter into the active directory commands but just for information, just know everything. So jump into the Active Directory commands. So in the top, you can see the Active Directory. Within that, first I will show you the Create User command. So just drag and drop the Create User command and you can see the parent path. For that, in order to create a new user, you need to enter the parent path. So the parent path look like you know the server names. If you don't know the server name, just click on the right side, you can see the black color dots. So just click. Here you need to enter your server name, domain, login and password. For that, now I don't have a direct access to my Active Directory. So I have a sample example over here. So here is a sample example for that. You need to enter your server name, domain name, as well as the login, then the password. So once you entered everything, just click on go and you can see the other details like our 
the tree details our bottom line in the bottom text box you can see the trace the other trace will be appear here by this way you can add a new user you can create some new users so once you completed you need to enter your parent path then login user login password then here you need to update the new user details like first name last name and the new users password you should give the passwords to the new users so what the password needs to be given and the display name what is the display name for the new user and the respective email for the user and the department if there is any departments are required like you know if uh, the particular user is in a rpa or else support or bot runner something like that if you want to add it uh, you can add here then the initials most of the options are uh, optional if you want it you can user must change the password at next logon so you need to check this check box so if you check this check box once you given this options once the user trying to log in uh, it will ask me, ask you to uh, change the password like whenever we are opening the other applications in the first time it will ask us to change the password old password just enter the old password and new passwords like that it will ask to it will ask the users to change the, their passwords so no issues is active and users cannot change password like here you know if you check this check box the users cannot change the, their own passwords there should be used the passwords which we are giving here here we are giving the passwords so the users can use only this particular passwords they cannot use the own password which they uh, think to create any new passwords they cannot use it so once you complete everything just click on save then run the task so just run the task the create user has been added into the active directory everything will be done so directly move into the next command modify user so the modify user is also the same for that also you need to enter the server name domain name and the user then the password then you need to change the action so here for the modify user there is lot of options eight options are there rename user delete user enable user account disable user account updated user details and update account details and the change password and the set property so there are eight options under the active directory modify user command we have eight sub commands like actions so whatever the actions you want so like for that if you want to delete any of the users so just you need to enter the user name so that you know while you are creating the user the user name should be unique then only you can use this user name delete the actions or else if you want to rename the user and disable user account and update our user other details like previous details were mismatch or any other inconsistency you can update the existing details using this commands in the active directory so directly jump into the next one create group for the create group also you need to enter all the details like parent path login name and the password and everything and then currently you are going to create a new group so you need to uh, create a new group name it should be unique then only very easy to identify for everyone and the description so the description is only the optional it's not mandatory to update the details but for your information like in our uh, programming codes and uh, the other codes we are mentioning the commands right in the commands in the future reference we can see why we we have created and what is the purpose of this something like that so that if you are adding the description that would be helpful for the develop anyone to validate and the group scope there are five options group domain local global and universal and the group type there is two options like security and the distribution two types out there once you complete everything just click on save then run the task and modify the group the same 
in the modify group select actions we have five options like rename the group delete the group add users to the group and remove users from the group and set properties so there are five options so just you need to select any of the actions then you need to enter the group name once you enter the group name it will listed the group participants like group members name you need to select the group members name then you need to run the task that's it then the create object so for the same you need to enter the server name domain name login name and everything then you need to mention the object name so like how you mentioned the group name the same object name you need to mention then the description as well as the object type uh, if it's a computer or organizational unit you need to mention and the modify object for the same we have four sub sub actions rename delete move set property something like that so next search so search is mostly used for the or uh, to search any other users or the object or any other groups so you can search anything using this search properties so you can either you can the run the queries also in the ldap path or else object names even you can assign the variables to your user defined variable or else the system variables you can assign the variables get property the final one is get property so for that also you need to enter the details to domain name and the others the action should be user group computer and the organizational unit the object name property and you can assign the variable to any other user defined variable or else system variables you can assign it using the f2 key you can do that variable assignment then once you are done just click on save and run the task that's it you know uh, for this active directory command unfortunately i don't have a direct access to the active directory so i cannot give the live examples but for the other actions for other commands i have a live examples with me and i have access to so no issues so please subscribe my channel and keep in touch with me within few days i'll try to cover each and everything like you know one week or two weeks i'll upload multiple videos for each and every comments so please keep in touch subscribe don't forget to subscribe my channel really thank you for thanks for your time bye bye